Hi, Code Monkey here. Now I'm recording this in the early morning and I'm short on time, so if the roosters uh, get in the way, I do apologize. Now if you've been working with Phaser for a while, then you've probably been using a lot of collisions. And you may have noticed if you put on the debug section in Phaser that the lines around the sprite don't match the size of the sprite. So that's called the hit area or the bounding box. And I'm going to show you today how to fix the size on that if you're having problems with it. I started to fix it with just one line of code and then ran into a very interesting situation. And I'll show you how to work around that. So let's get started. Code Monkey, get up, get coffee. Code Monkey, go to job. Welcome back. We've got our ninja jumping and moving. You might have noticed that he's floating a bit above the platform and that this bounding box is not the right size. Let me turn off the lines real quick on the block grid. You should be able to see it better. There. It's much too big. And it drove me crazy for the longest time trying to fix that. Because over here in the window, I would say Ninja Body Set Size Ninja Width and Ninja Height. I'm not sure why it uses the height and the width instead of the display height and the display width. But I have noticed that this is working and the other way isn't, so I'm just going with it. I'm sure somebody else will explain it in the comments. And true meaning centered on the sprite. And there you see how it just shrank up and the physics worked as soon as it did. But when I tried putting that in the code, it didn't work, and I got all kinds of weird results. I'll show you here. After I scale it, I say this ninja body, set size, this ninja width, and this ninja height. True for being centered, but it never worked. And then I figured out it was just taking phaser that extra second to get the physics all initialized. So what I did is I took a timer snippet here, time add event, just to use as a delay. Time add event, delay one second, call back this, delay done, loop set to false, so we only want this to fire once, make that function delay done. And then we put that code that will resize the body in delay done. You see that right in the middle of his fall, it resized. Of course, the users, the players aren't going to see that. But if we want to be extra sure that they won't, or that it's not going to cause any problems for the game. We were just hard coding in the ninja being at 200, 200. We can say negative 100 for the Y position. And then by the time he falls on, everything's fixed. So just that one second delay made a difference. I'm going to turn back on those numbers. And I think we're going to move this main floor down. Because if you walk off the edge here, you see we've got a lot more space to work with. Here we go. Great. Now we've got our bottom row. And that's how you fix the bounding box on a sprite by using that body set size. Thanks very much for watching. I hope this has been helpful.